everyone welcome to my new video about base building protection against some raiding techniques and i know i have another video for this but i forgot to talk about a few things so i decided to make a new video on this i'm sure there are a thousand ways to raid the base but i'm gonna tell you the, the most common things you you can do against some techniques okay and as the game keeps changing and some stuff may get fixed and i I keep having the need to sometimes make an updated video about a few things okay and some stuff is not working anymore for example like seeing through walls some people use that uh, technique that bug to see what was on the other side of someone's space which was bad and I, I have a way to prevent that but it's not necessary anymore but it can be necessary for other things and I'm gonna talk about it in a while so first of all i gotta tell you if you are building a tall base make sure you never place the loot room okay on the last floors and i'm gonna tell you why some people have use a technique to go above someone's rooftop and then they will blow up the floors until they find some loot so if you want to give them a hard time never place the loot on the last rooftop uh, close to the rooftop or on the last floor escape and how do you do this technique okay there are two techniques actually there's the the raid tower so make sure you will always claim the areas around your base put a stake here put another stake over here and another here and all around because if you let others build close to your building area what's gonna happen is that someone can make a raiding tower and go above the rooftop and how can they do raid towers especially if you build your base too close to the build limit of the area area it's easier for them so they usually make like a small room here and then they just keep building above here and eventually when they reach to the top they will add something here and then they will jump over your base okay that's one of the techniques that's part of the game and there's something that many others use that is the technique that I want to talk to you about and you have to prevent that that is this and this is called a C4 ladder, okay, something like that. So what they do, they can also use raid drills. And they jump, jump and go upstairs like this. And they usually place one. If, if they have two C4 is enough to do this. So they jump over it and then they put this here, another C4. They will jump over this, they will arm and then defuse the first one to get it back and then they, they will keep going upstairs to the top okay i can do this well they have snow about this uh, technique already they admitted this is game breaking and something that is game breaking to this game they will eventually fix uh, change or even remove so i have no idea if they will ever do something about this but probably because they kind of know about this technique already they probably have seen someone doing this and what probably they will do is to turn both raid drill and c4 bombs non-clippable what does that mean it means that you won't be able anymore to stand above c4 or raid drills and you will and your character will be able to pass through it so I have this no clip plugin on my server that I'm gonna activate and this is what's gonna happen, okay? It won't block your way, you will be able to cross through it. And not worth uh, building these buttresses because they will also find out a way to go upstairs. And uh, you just have to prevent yourself building those kind of rooftop layers, those floor layers or even this. You just use a short wall and then you are able to place these floors. Other thing is this, okay, the foundations. So as you can see, 
two foundations not with the same height so this is taller than that one and I don't advise you to put this because sometimes cement okay uh, concrete is way more weak than the walls and it they can be destroyed with one to c4 it, it always depends but if it's too high people will choose to destroy it instead of a shorter foundation and I'm gonna tell you why in a second if you build tall foundations this is what's gonna happen any player can destroy it okay with a few c4 or sometimes one and they will be able to go and pass under the the wall okay in this case it's not letting me because of this it's not a flat round okay I pass I pass under it and you won't be able to pass through this eight and why because as long as you build foundations up to this height you need to check with the short wall if it's the same height as a short wall they won't be able to pass through if it's taller than a short wall probably it's most likely that they will pass under the, the walls on the other video I mentioned that bug that people used that is to crouch against sorry for the, the fire I need to kill myself and People use this bug that it was crouching against the wall and look up, okay? They sometimes increase the, the field of view here to make their life easier. And they were able to, to crouch and see what was on the other side of the base. But not anymore, finally got completely fixed. So why I still build double walls? Because in terms of safety, maybe a little help. Uh, to prevent people uh, to use just few C4 to pass through and I advise you to use at least one iron wall and then another stone wall if you only have stone that still may help a bit but don't use a uh, hood behind the first wall because it can be destroyed with the first C4 you place on the other wall so as you can see the, other, the first uh, wall was destroyed but not the second one the second one suffered some damages but it it was not enough for a person to pass through so so they will need to spend more c4 which is great The wall that was attached behind the stone wall got destroyed but not these ones if you have to use hood before or behind the first wall just do this okay or just put another wall not too close to the first one otherwise it will get destroyed and if you're gonna use big foundations just be aware of the fact that you cannot place as many walls on it like you can place on short foundations. Okay, so this is just short foundations. I'm gonna show you, okay, one, two. They can be more expensive, okay, but you are able to do this design. On this case of the big foundation you can only do this you cannot build inside sometimes it is good to use a uh, short foundations to have more freedom placing walls and for sometimes more safety on this case I'm gonna tell you this by my own experience if you add uh, a sign by your uh, door okay by your base or a torch be aware of the fact that people can jump over them 
like on the C4 and raid drills and then go upstairs if you only have one story base right just make sure you don't put them too close to your walls another thing do an arrow lock an arrow lock is this thing here if someone is you know after you and you open the door probably they will be able to go after you and before you close the door they will get in also I, I advise you to use smaller doors as much as possible and but they will be around here they can even kill you but they will be stuck here they won't have access to your main place so if you don't open this door they won't be able to pass through which is pretty useful okay to have this thing here depending of the base you have you should not spawn inside your base if you have claimed the area around okay with more ownership stakes and you have these ownership stakes rooms set your spawn in one of these instead okay because someone can try to attack you around your base and they will kill you but they th then they will be waiting outside for you to respawn but then you come from here and you can still kill them when they are not looking they, that's also useful or for example if you have your main ownership stake on your main base uh, you know locked down wi with walls and you don't have a way out of it and you don't want to destroy walls you just go ahead and put your spawn in like a small room or something that's always useful to know and now about objects uh, someone asked if uh, one of these things can be destroyed and if it's destroyed will destroy the loot inside or the loot will go out with the c4 let's check that in a bit As you can see it will drop the loot to the ground <laughs> actually it will i had to test this to know and if you place this here it will be destroyed as well well it's better like this and how about fireplaces some people used to cover up the other side of the walls with fireplaces do they offer any protection? They are pretty cheap. And if I place one here, will it be destroyed with only one? Maybe. But this thing is pretty useful unless they change it. It will stay like this and of course if you place the, the c4 on it it will be destroyed but it's always an extra protection okay an extra wall you can have double walls here and then another layer of fireplaces probably can be useful sometimes this is unpredictable but it works works like a third wall which is great on this case second how about these other things? Will these be destroyed? I suppose they will. It works. They won't bl be blocking the way anymore. If you place a C4 here and they then get destroyed, you will have one more obstacle on your way. But on this case, they will, I think. Oh, they did not. They did not get destroyed. I wonder if I put workbenches on the side. They hold. But you can always try with this. But I advise you really to use more the. The fireplaces, okay, it's not only for decoration, alright. I don't remember more safety tips or raiding uh, techniques, but sure, there are a lot. Thanks a lot for watching.